So you're told in question 12 that you are looking at a problem with the normal distribution. It tells you it tells you here normally distributed so that you know you're looking at a problem with the normal distribution. When you get a normal distribution problem, I suggest the first thing you do is to write down the distribution. So call your variable x for want of any better um, letter. The squiggly, oops, the squiggly line means distributed. Uh, it's a normal distribution, so we write an n, and then in here we write the mean and the variance. That's the standard deviation squared. Sorry, I've lost my little squiggle there. So x is distributed normally. The mean it tells you is 28, and the standard deviation is 5, so we can write that as 5 squared. That's the first part of your working. Okay, it's only a one mark question for A, so there isn't a working mark, but it is going to help you later on. Um, for A, I'm going to do the second part of the working, which is to do a diagram. And this should always come with normal distribution questions. If you're doing a normal distribution question, always make sure you draw your diagram. Mean is 28, standard deviation is 5, and there's your normal distribution curve. Do not try a normal distribution without doing this. Write down the probability that the runner completed the race in more than 28 minutes. 28 is the mean. This is the mean. Okay, it's important it is because it says write down. So you can use the symmetry of this graph. My graph isn't particularly symmetrical. It's not been very well drawn. You can use the symmetry of your graph to say what's the probability that the time is in that area of the graph. And it's a write down question, so it means no calculating is needed. For part B, we'll draw another normal distribution curve. Hopefully mine will be a bit more accurate this time. Eh, it's not much better really. Okay, again, standard deviation is 5, mean is 28. The people who got these right, this question right, tended to draw these curves. The people who didn't tended not to draw them. That should tell you it's worth drawing them. Find the probability that the runner completed the race in less than 26 minutes. There's 28. So 26 is going to be to the left of that, and we want less than. Okay, so that's the area you want. Set your GDC up and use that to work out that area. It becomes a lot clearer. Now it's just a question of getting the right settings on your calculator. C, again, let's draw a normal distribution curve. This is the third one I've drawn. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better. Uh, no, still no good. And... Sigma is 5, mean is 28. Look, I'm taking the time every time to write this out. 20% of the runners took more than 28 minutes and less than k minutes. So more than 28 to the right of 28, but to the left of some value k that we don't know. We don't know what this number k is. Okay, So we know this is the probability that is... 20%, so that's 0 0.2, uh, and you can use your answer from question A to work out what that is. So what we've actually got as our problem, fourth attempt, uh, probably the best one, but still not very good. What we've actually got as our problem, mu is 28, is some value k there, and some probability here, and we've got to find k, so it's an inverse question, and you know this probability because you know that this is 0 0.2, and you've worked out the probability for this entire area in question A. So that's the answer for A minus 0 0.2 is that area there. And that is what you need to work out.